So then, time to talk more Donegal International Rally, and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by last year's two wheel drive category winner, uh, Kevin Geller. Kevin, good to see you. Good to talk to you. Uh, you're in the office, and I'm sure you have a very busy office this week, given that you're you're working with so many competitors for the rally this weekend. I uh, we're we're just getting the last few bits wrapped up in that. So uh, now we're getting on all right. We're kind of uh, ahead of ourselves, kind of a wee bit more than usual. So it's not too bad on the work side. So. Um, and the car's nearly ready as well. So, no, all good. Yeah. How many crews are you involved with? I would say around 40 engines, maybe 40, 45 engines out in it. So, um, so no, a good, good few. Like. Yeah, a good few. Quite a good few in there. So, there's there's a lot of work <laughs> for you. And, and, and how do you manage that over the rally weekend then, Kevin? Do you still be involved with, with each of those crews? And does your workmen be out, be out dealing with them? They do be either a couple of the lads there, they'll be there. But look, generally with the engine side of it, you know, um, you, you, apart from maybe a sensor or something simple, you don't have a whole lot to do. Generally, they either go, go all right or they don't sometimes. So that's that's sort of it. Yeah. And do you be keeping tabs on what's happening elsewhere with the boys' engines or when it comes rally weekend, that you be fully focused on what yourself and Ryan Moore's doing? I oh, know. Look, you'd always be watching to a certain extent, you know, um, the same as every rally, but uh, you kind of, to keep keep the thing going as well like so now you do be watching or help out where you can like yeah well listen you have to defend your two-wheel drive uh title it's a very prestigious title uh there has been some very famous names have, have won it over the years kevin gallagher and ryan moore were on it for the first time last year um what's it like and into donegal now this time because it's a bit different because you won it last year kevin and you always w- had that dream of getting over the line and be- and winning the two-wheel drive category but it's a different dynamic this time around because you're going on as a champion. I will suppose it brings maybe a wee bit of pressure because I suppose you're starting at the front and everybody's chasing you. But then, look, I suppose at the same time we've been there and done that now and we kind of know what we'll have to do. So, look, I think I think we we if we if we get our game plan right, we'll we'll hopefully come out on top on Sunday evening. Yeah, you know the men that's going to be around you very very well, the likes of Kevin Eaves, uh, Gary Kernan's in there. I think a championship leader from Kilkenny, uh, Eddie Doherty, is coming um, coming to do Donegal. I'm, I'm thinking here off, off the top of my head, Damien Tourist, Declan Geller, all these men very much capable of winning this category, Kevin. Oh, they are definitely. And uh, look, the, all, all those lads there you named have all got our engines in too. So <laughs> look, you, you're uh, you'd be racing them like so. No, look, it, it, it could go anybody's way. Like, and, uh, like it's hard to tell there at the minute too what the weather's going to do. Like it's given mixed. Uh, forecasts and stuff so we just have to wait wait till the time comes and see yeah have you tweaked your darian much since last year is it, it's the same car isn't it kevin it is the same car yeah. um ah, there'll be a few small changes it's probably maybe in the setup it's a wee bit better and it would have a bit more power but no other than that it's pretty much the same car and what sort of conditions is going to favor for ever the darian this weekend i'm looking actually out the window here now in the studio in highland and it's the first bit of rain that we've had for for, for two weeks but they're suggesting there could be quite a bit of it over the weekend does it have to be dry for the darian to be performing at 100 percent, or you like it in the wet do you no i don't mind the wet i don't mind the wet like we don't uh i suppose we've done two rallies this year the midlands and circuit of Kerry, but the midlands it actually came a downpour for the last loop of stages and we we're actually able to Get a good step ahead of everybody in the wet. So uh, look, it, it depends on the stages and whatnot. But no, I'll be happy enough in the rain, to be honest. Yeah, and obviously the the more open stages, the more open of the road and and Donegal, and the more free flowing, it'll suit the Darien over the rest of the, the competitors, like the Escort and and the Starlet, will it? Ah, uh, maybe a bit. The the Friday stages mightn't be brilliant Darien stages, but the, they're not bad stages. To be fair, it's just the, the I suppose the car is a lot wider and. Uh, you know, than say the Nesker or that, so it, it doesn't suit it from that point of view. But other than that, no, there should be good stages as well. And obviously you'll be down in your home patch on Saturday, I suppose. One of the targets is to make sure you get that far, first of all, before you can, can uh, maybe lay down a big marker. Yeah, no, look, you, you have to be there at the end, look, and we, we've had a, a couple of years where we didn't finish, and, you know, it's uh, you can uh, definitely you need to be there at the finish wherever you are. Yeah, because obviously it's a long event, Kevin, and as you you know in motorsport, anything can happen over the and one day. Never mind trying to to cover three days of rally. It is a luck. You need a lot of luck on your side too when a you know a, an event that length and when when you're pushing hard all the time, it, it takes very little to make a small mistake or or something to go wrong with the car. Like so, you kind of need a bit of luck on your side as well. So just finally, then, Kevin, um, what's it going to take for for yourself and Ryan to be back on? 
on the top of the podium again and be, be the top two wheel drive winners this year? Um, well, look, I think uh, we'll we'll uh, sort of try and push as hard as we can on the Friday, but I think then come the Saturday and Sunday stages would be look. I suppose everybody's more familiar with them, but um, I think they'll suit suit us better anyway. We went went well on them last year, so I, I can't see any reason why it'll be any different this year. Yeah. Are you still as hungry as what you were this time last year to one another on a goal? Ah, uh, definitely. Look, I've kind of been putting on a good enough effort there. To get everything right and ready because we, I was thinking about doing Cavan or a few of them events, and I, I didn't want to then because if you if you hit the car or to reprep it, you just never get it uh, totally perfect again. If you know what I mean, um, f- till you do an event or two. So uh, I, I just said uh, I'd prep for Donegal, and that's what we're aiming for all year. Okay, well, we can't wait to see how the battle unfolds with yourself and the Darren and then Mark Twos and, and the Starlet and those other two wheel drive cars because it's going to be fascinating. But the very best of luck to you and indeed to Ryan as well, Kevin. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you over the weekend. Cheers. Thanks, Oshin.